Welcome back again, guys. Uh, we are now on TCP IP and Ethernet network protocols. It's a reason 3.1.4. So we are going to start the quiz. It's just, we are just going to resume the quiz that is from the module of managing network security. It's in a week two. So let's resume. The first question says, in order for TCP IP, IP version 4 address to identify both network and the specific computer the protocol use. So what do we need to use? Of course, we are just going to our we are just going to use our very simple method. Just to take the question and the answer and then so the, the answer is the subnet. Can ask the reason why we just say the answer is subnet. It's because <coughs> in order to uh, in order for TCP IP version for address to identify both network and specific computers, the protocol use a subnet mask. So you can ask yourself what is a subnet mask. The subnet mask is used to divide an IP address into a network portion and a host portion allowing for identification of both network and also individual device within. So, uh, let's go to the second question. In order for network to assign network address as they are needed, they use, you can ask yourself what they are using. So, in order for sorry, in order for the network to assign a network address that they are needed, we can use the <coughs> FTP. We can also use LAN zero career network. We can also use the RGE. It's just a remote job entry, so we only need to use the DHCP because DHCP is a dynamic host configuration protocol which helps out to assign the network address to a network. Like you may be having a, <clears throat> may be having a network like a different component or devices that need to be assigned, like to assign automatically the, the dynamic host. So you also, you all need to use DHCP protocol just to configure or to just put the IP address automatically without like assigning to each device. So this one is TCP. So let's take the last question. The last question goes to most contemporary wide local area network use a protocol called or to manage the physical area, physical area. So we mostly use the Ethernet. So let's just check normally what is the Ethernet. So we use the Ethernet protocol to manage the physical layer. The Ethernet is widely used to use the standard for connecting the device in a local area network. So it will provide a reliable and efficient <coughs> data transmission over network. Uh, like if you are having an Ethernet cable to your computer, you will be able to, like, to get all of the data from switch, the capacity from switch. <coughs> Switches has different capacities, that's 100 Mbps, even 1000, even a 10 gigs. So whenever you are connecting to your switch with Ethernet cable, you will be having 100% the, the reliable and efficient data transmission to computer or to, to your device uh, which is different from like the use of Wi-Fi okay so let's check if we have first do with married boom we have upgraded and you see we have passed so guys see you and make sure you just subscribe to our YouTube channel by Paris whereby you will be receiving a different tutorials regarding to Coursera courses and even other modes related to technology. See you.